Hello, and welcome to In the Eyes of Terror, and this will be my first review on some occult stuff that I bought from Amazon and the Luciferian Apothecary. I have another order coming in from Magic Mojo, which I'll also review. Um, I guess this is sort of an Easter special. Um, we will be uploading here soon, just everything has been a little bit crazy for us. We've had a lot of people moving out of our complex, there's been a lot of excess noise, and I'd rather give you the best quality than not. So, we'd rather not put up bad quality and just do this. Uh, thank you for everybody who's following us and remains to do so and downloading our stuff. Uh, I have actually a couple other series involved. Uh, one of them is because I'm calling a Living a Terror and so stay tuned for that I'll be writing out some stuff but uh, this is the busy season for both me and crazy Susie so but we'll be getting up quality as soon as we can but let's get into our uh, our review of these occultic items that I recently purchased the first item is this cast iron wool cauldron and as you can hear, it's fully cast iron, and it is coated. Uh, I got this off Amazon for about $11. And all I'll be using this is for cones and uh, charcoal. Not like this stuff you would charcoal your, your meats with, but with uh, like basically hookah charcoal, the disc charcoal. Uh, if you're into burning stuff and you have loose incense, by the hookah charcoal, it's safer and it doesn't have as many chemicals as regular grilled charcoal does. So, um, and that should hold up to this. And it has these little feet, which look good. Um, so that should work. And it still has a sticker on it, which says "New Age Imports Inc. Quality Products." So there's that. Uh, let me just reach into my bag of stuff. The other item I got is a small chalice. Uh, a chalice is used to obviously folding stuff. And it's used in ceremonial magic. Uh, and I'll be using this as to hold libations for the spirits and the land the ancestors so again this is from Amazon and it looks to be decent quality I prefer the copper look um, as you can sort of see here if we'll focus is that there's been yeah right there it looks like there's a few uh, the covering isn't as good around this back corner, but other than that, it looks decent. This was probably like nine bucks or so. Um, and so it has a nice sound to it. So there's that the coating. That's what I was thinking. The coating is not good, but what can you expect? anymore so that was the chalice of course my phone goes off right. I got these black candles they're they were only about ten dollars for twenty so I couldn't pass these up now we have tea candles and stuff like that but uh, I just wanted to get another set. I was just trying to get everything ready just in case if we wanted to use those tea cans or something else. They're black candles. Um, and they're relatively small, but for uh, magical uses, you don't need a towering one. Uh, this works. It looks like it's just a basic cotton wick so it should burn pretty quickly um, 
and I'm one of those ones who believes that you shouldn't reuse candles and magical spells so this will be great for that because we'll just let it burn out and uh, dispose of it right. and that's 20 chime spell candles from mega candles and um, I really don't know the makeup of these Obviously, you should not uh, let children play with these or leave them unattended. You know, they're made in China, so and like most of the stuff, it's all made in China, and it gives you instructions on how to burn it and stuff like that. So. And I excuse any uh, excess noise, but this is the best time to do this. is early, decently in the morning. So it's called. I got this from Amazon. This was about fifteen dollars or so, and it's from Right Edge. It's another Chinese-made product, and. I honestly don't know what they're doing. Uh, and I got this on the hopes that it was good. And I probably... I I sort of... This is great for like cosplay or if you're into LARPing and you have a live steal. This is great for this. It's just great for the effect. But for anything else, it is completely useless. With that said, let's go into it and see why I'm not happy with it. So this is the presentation box, obviously, it's got some nice graphics, I guess. And then it's taped on both sides, and then you get this sort of foam and this fake sort of like satin type box in it. And I just, like I said, and it's hard to get it, the box is not that great, so I just kept it in a, on itself. Uh, so this is the knife, the knife itself, the dagger, whatever, and so this is one of the only ones I sort of liked. Again, this was I purchased, so I sort of regret, but I it'd be good if I would do something that requires the look of life steel, but can't cut anybody with so as you can see here that it doesn't really match up well and so it's sort of offsets in the sheath itself so that's not a good thing and then the, the hilt and even this case is just this weird sort of like cheap plastic and you can actually see the seam so it's just awkward in the hand the, the hand feel is not good and for my hand it almost is too big for it so there's that and then I'll take it out of the sheath and yes that's a I guess nice tang if you're really into that tang sound so it's stainless steel it's from China it's completely blunt on the edge there's no edge to it so, um, and you could probably do an edge on it. I just don't trust enough to do it. And this is not a knife I really am going to use for a magical ceremony. I'm going to go buy another knife at our local cutlery place. Not like a kitchen knife. They actually have like hunting knives and stuff. I just got to get over there. Um, and then, you know, there's this like little medallion. And this is the least gaudy of all of the the knives. Uh, and as you can see, it's just it's a mold pour. So they just, you know, they put this. They made a mold of this and poured it. And then this is just a coated, probably stainless steel too. And if you get it in the right light, you can see it's just grind like basically ground down into this shape. You can see all the grain and stuff. 
like I said, it's great for uh, like low reenactments, I guess. Anything you don't need anything to cut with. Um, maybe your coven doesn't like knives that that. Maybe this uh, you like this knife. Uh, again, this is not a knife that I am really too terribly pleased about because I want one that I can cut with and stuff like that. So I like multi-use knives, especially in magic and this just does not do that for me plus like i said the hand feel is just so weird yes i could probably put leather or rope over it but that sort of it's not exactly what i'm looking for so and then on the inside of it because when i pulled it out the first time there was black marks and i thought there was actually a, a defect within the molding but go find out that you just use like really cheap foam and the sheath to keep the knife from banging around and it comes off onto the the knife itself so overall not too terribly pleased with this but uh, great for events and stuff like that uh, maybe like pagan day or something I don't know and then the last from Amazon is because I realized I had this in there it's just a small little bell. I haven't even looked at this one, so. So the handle is obviously screw. Again, it's copper. I like the feel of copper. I think it's more natural uh, feeling and for what I do. Uh, it works. I like the aesthetics of copper better or brass. So let's give it a ring. It's a nice ring to it. Uh, overall, it looks like a good product. Uh, just be careful of that handle. And let's try this. So hitting it with the knife is not going to give any effect, but that does so it looks pretty hefty so we're good so and that is the, the Amazon purchases that I got um, overall what I buy from I mean we buy a lot from Amazon in general I think everybody does and uh, give me a I think the best way to describe Amazon, it's great for somebody who's on a budget. Uh, somebody who's getting into magic, it gives you your altar supplies for relatively cheap. Uh, and with the current uh, pandemic, I guess, uh, a lot of places are either um, not shipping or they're going to take a while to ship. So if you need something fast, Amazon's the way to go, obviously and uh, I'm not going to get into the politics of Amazon but uh, we use Amazon and a lot so uh, it ships into our area so that's the biggest thing I guess uh, and so there's that but if you're on a budget Amazon's the way to go the only one I sort of regret purchasing is that knife um, I was really questioning if I wanted to do it uh, and I talked myself into it and I knew with my gut feeling I probably shouldn't have so with that said uh, go with your gut